Hey, uh, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the fire suppression systems on board our Boeing 747 that we're making within Stormworks. So with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So guys, this is going to be my last video for potentially a while. Well, at least as far as being on an almost consistent schedule. I am about to start school tomorrow and I am not going to have a lot of time to make videos. Well, not as much time to make videos any anymore for a while. So if you don't see a video for like the next couple months or maybe next couple weeks, that is exactly why. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started with doing the fire suppression real quick. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to go into logic and let me see. Where is our fire suppression? Um, so let's see, we got fire suppression systems, okay. Let's just go ahead and start painting it red. So we're gonna go ahead and just go into brush and paint whatever we find in relevance to fire suppression. We'll just paint it that, way, that color so that we know it's red. So it looks like this and this and potentially this. And this as well as this. So this is engine one through four as well as APU fire suppression. So now that we got that marked out, let's paint a little bit darker red. Actually, let's leave it as bright red. Okay, so um, this is not a recreation, as I've said many times throughout this series. This is only for fun. I'm not I'm not building to recreate the 747, but I'm just building it for fun. Okay, so now that we got that cleared, let's go ahead and turn the X mode on. Well, the X axis for mirror mode on. And, well x-axis for symmetry on i should say so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a fuel tank no, uh let's probably go with um a medium i'd say let's go ahead and mark out where the other engine is i believe it's just up here yes it is up here okay so we're going to place the small fluid tank right here and we're going to line up two of them right in front of each other just like that that's going to be relative well that's going to uh, be our fire suppression, fire suppression fluid. So let's go closer to the other engine, just down here, and let's place these two right here. So let's just place this here as well as this one right here. Actually, let's put it forward a little bit. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're going to change these to fresh water. Okay, we're gonna do the same for over here, and over here we'll do the same as well, so fresh water and fresh water. Okay, let's go over here. This is going to be fresh water. This one's going to be fresh water. This will be fresh water as well as this. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead and go into our logic system and see what we have. So we have engine one temp, engine one fire suppression tank level, engine one fire suppression system on, and engine one fire suppression pumps. Okay, so for the fire suppression system, we're going to just do a basic fluid valve. Then for the pumps, we'll do a pump. So let's grab a fluid valve. So let's just type in fluid, ah, oops, fluid valve. Uh, okay, we need the other type. So let's just type in fluid again. And we will use this one right here, since this is an on and off signal which will be perfect for this circumstance and this situation. Um, so we're just going to place this here, and then for the other tank, we'll just place this here. Okay, so we're just going to have a basic fluid nozzle. It's going to come out probably somewhere over here, so let's grab some pipes. Uh, let's look into this, actually. Okay, so we could actually just do a basic pipe that goes straight back from here. We're going to need to repaint a few things, but basically we can get a pipe that curves uh, right about here. So the bottom goes there and then the top goes there. And we could grab a straight pipe and closed and we could just drag it back to here. And then we could just repaint it. That'll be our fluid valve system. Okay. We'll also need to grab a pipe angle. And we'll also grab a pipe, uh, sorry, a fluid nozzle. Uh, which is right here, and we'll just simply place this down. That'll disperse the actual water coming from the fire suppression system, and it'll kind of spray it ahead a little bit, 
the it'll kind of spray this area in general so let's just hope it works that's that's um that's what i'm hoping um okay we're gonna do the same over here so we're just going to delete a straight line back to looks like right here okay let's grab some pipes this one's going to be a pipe angle up okay that's facing up from sideways you can see that now and then we'll have one down here and we'll face it this way and we'll have another pipe straight angle and it'll just go directly back okay let's go ahead and repaint the pylon just like that all right perfect okay um so this pipe is going to have the fire suppression face backwards on it actually i think i'll just uh delete two back and we'll just make it face forward so it's consistent with every nozzle so let's grab a fluid nozzle and we'll just simply place it right here okay then we'll just place that block there and looks like the engine wasn't colored so that's fine um all right now we just need to grab a pump as well as a pipe this might need to change let's see how long the pump is the pump needs to face this way so it does need an extra pipe here this needs to be an enclosed pipe so that we don't have the view or well just so we don't have a hole in the wing so we'll just simply place this here okay so let's uh place this pipe here and let's place this pipe here so um let's go ahead and paint the pylon again so it's not mismatched and let's just add a simple wedge here because i feel like that should go here so we'll just add it like that and that'll be good okay so back over here um we need a pump so let's just simply turn this sideways like that and this will also go sideways let's grab a pump uh this one right here okay and we'll just simply face it this way okay so we can just drag that to there now all we need to do is logic i believe all these are fresh water already so yep let's just do logic so um let's go ahead and connect the actually do we have an auxiliary power unit fire suppression not really so we can add that really quick so let's grab a tank uh this one's gonna be a little bit smaller and basically we'll grab a fluid valve uh which will be this one right here and pretty much we'll just place it here so the pump okay we'll just uh simply place the pump right here and we'll just make the nozzle face down so the fluid nozzle that is the fluid nozzle will just face down because actually you know what i think what we'll do is we'll just simply build this back a little bit to about right there and then we'll just place this down a little bit and then i'll face forward kind of like that okay so let's grab the fluid nozzle and we'll simply place it right here that'll go to the fluid suppression fire suppression i mean so um let's go ahead and connect up the logic now so let's uh let's simply connect fire and engine four fire suppression pumps to the fourth engine's fire suppression pump which is right here so now we'll go to engine two fire suppression pump oh sorry engine three my bad engine three fire suppression pump which is this one right here okay we'll connect engine three fire suppression system to the fluid valve and then we'll do the same for engine four fire suppression system on to the um valve so we'll just simply connect it to right here okay then let's do the apu fire suppression pumps so we'll just drag this all the way back and we'll put it to the pumps then the fire suppression valve will go to the fire apu fire suppression system so we'll connect this to this and then We'll connect engine two fire suppression system on to the valves like we did with the other two engines or three engines and we'll connect the pumps to this right here okay then let's repeat this one more time so this is the system so we'll do the fluid valve 
Okay, and we'll connect this to the entire... Oh, I lost the thing, so let me go back to it. Okay, um, let's drag this input to the pumps, like we did with over there. And we'll simply connect it. Okay, so engine 1 temp will go to the engine 1 temperature. So, here's a quick complaint. I, I know this game has gen engines and all, but... The, the annoying thing about the jet engines within Stormworks is the actual throttle, uh, or sorry, the RPS, is linear and parallel, besides a function, to the temperature. So the temperature is multiplied by some value, um, and basically if you rev the RPS up, the temperature goes up at basically the same rate, minus a um, quick function, and basically the engines don't go hotter, any hotter than 20 celsius at close to 200 rps, which is ludicrous, because that is not realistic at all. That is by far one of my most complained things about these engines. Okay, so, um, jet engine 2 compressor will go to engine 2 temperature. Okay, engine 2 fire suppression tank, we'll connect that up really quick. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's grab engine 1 fire suppression tank, and we'll just simply connect it to engine 1 fire suppression tank level. Okay, and APU fire suppression tank level. Let's drag this all the way back, way, way back here, and we'll connect that to that. Okay, so, APU temperature, we'll connect that to the APU temperature little dial thing, and we'll connect it to right about here. Engine 3 temperature, we'll connect to engine 3 temp, okay, and then in it, well, engine 3 temperature, well, engine 3 tank, uh, fire suppression tank level, we'll connect it to engine 3 fire suppression tank level, you know, um, okay, so. Let's move on to engine 4 temperature, we will connect to that, and engine 4 fire suppression tank level, we'll go to engine 4, oh, that's kind of backwards, okay, engine 4 temp, let's put to engine 4 temp rather than engine 4 fire suppression tank level. Okay, so that is all relative to the uh, fire suppression, well, kind of. So. Next thing we need to do is grab a relay, uh, this one right here, and we'll simply put it next to the fire suppression. This is because um, when we turn the systems on, it'll also turn on the power for it. That's um, going to be connected to that. So let's uh, quickly add another relay to the actual APU one, and now let's connect the logic for that real quick. So. Let's go to APU fire suppression system on. We'll connect that to this. Uh, engine 2 fire suppression system will be connected to the engine 2 fire suppression relay for power. Same with uh, engine 1. So let's grab the relay state activation. Oh, big lag spike there. Okay, so engine 1 fire suppression system on. We'll go to that. Okay, then engine 3 fire suppression system on. We'll go to engine 3 fire suppression relay, or aka the power of the fire suppression system on the engine of 3. Okay, so now we'll connect the fire suppression pumps, uh, well no, sorry, fire, engine 4 fire suppression system on will be connected to the engine 4 fire suppression system relay. And that is all, we just gotta connect the electrics to it. So I didn't connect the electrics yet, which will be perfect. Um, I just need to figure out where did I put them. Here they are, okay. This is, uh, the backup battery and this... Okay, now I'm confused, what is this? Um, okay, this could be the, um, I don't know. So, what we'll do is we'll just redo this a little bit. This is going to be the auxiliary battery right here. This, sorry, the left one's going to be the auxiliary battery. So, let's connect the electric stuff really quick, which is somewhere within like, this logic mess. Um, okay, I'll find it later. We'll just uh, connect the relay state of this to the engine fire suppression systems. 
and that will be just fine. So let's connect it to here, here, as well as here, and there. Okay, now let's go to the auxiliary power unit, and we'll connect the relay state to here as well. Okay, so that's all for this episode. So, I'm going to save this as um, B747 uh, YT Fire Sup. Okay, and we'll just save it and spawn it. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode off here, so thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my Discord. It will be linked down below, and while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every single time I upload. And I do want to wish you guys a good day, evening, or night time, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you guys in the next one. So yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. So yeah, bye for now.